Hey, what's going on guys? I know it's been a really long time since I've done one of these, but this is a question that I've been meaning to answer for a really long time, and it usually happens something like this. I'll upload an unboxing video, and then about 10 to 18 hours later, or something like that, is when I'll upload my review video, or the quick look video, whatever comes after that, where the kit is now built. And I'll often get asked in the comments, so how did you build the kit so fast? Or wow, you really built that fast, like that. From people thinking that uh, from the time when I uploaded the unboxing video, then I actually built the kit, filmed the review, and then uploaded the quick look video or the review video actually in that order. Well, just to clear that up for any of you guys who may have been wondering that still, I know it's probably common sense and most of you aren't wondering this, but uh, for those of you who were, uh, what I actually do is I record the video, I record the unboxing video long before you guys actually see it. I'll record that as soon as I get the kit uh, and then I'll you know build it over the next few days or a week or two weeks or sometimes it's up to a month or something later until you guys actually see that. I'll wait to upload the unboxing video once I've got the review actually recorded. Very uh, rarely I'll upload the unboxing video before I have the review recorded, but either way, Anytime I'm uploading the unboxing video, I've already got the kit totally built and it's either ready to be reviewed or already reviewed. So that's just a, maybe something about YouTube that I think maybe some people just don't really realize that you have to kind of like work ahead in that way. So yeah, just to be clear, I don't actually build the kit in the time between when you guys see the unboxing and the review. Uh, a really great way to keep up to date or just to keep up with what I'm building in actually real time would be following me on my Instagram account. On my Instagram is where I'll post a video, or post a photo. Uh, as soon as I got the kit built, I'll post a photo of that on Instagram usually. And so usually you'll see the kit built on there before the unboxing video is actually even uploaded on YouTube. So you'll have an idea of kind of what's coming up on YouTube by following my Instagram account. So that's uh, what I like to use my Instagram account for actually. But all that said, in regards to my actual like snapping building speed, I would say I probably do snap kids relatively quickly. And of course a lot of that just comes down to experience. I've just built enough of them. But uh, I do have a few methods or at least one particular method that I've been using recently that has helped quite a lot. So I'll just show that to you here briefly. So recently I picked up a few of these and these have been really, really helpful. So what I'll do is uh, once I've got the kit unboxed, I've got that recorded for you guys, I will, and I'm getting ready to build the kit, I'll just cut all the parts up and put them into here so that everything's all cut from the runners so that way when I'm actually going to build the kit, I don't have to keep going back to the runners and back and forth and back and forth to getting the parts I need from the runners. All the parts are already cut out and separated. So for example, I'll put like all the torso parts here, left leg, right leg, head, uh, left arm, right arm, a waist, and then like weapons or some other accessories like up there at the top. Uh, so that way when I'm just going through the build, I just grab all the parts that I need from there and then I just work on cleaning up the nubs on those, putting it together, and then on to the next section. And it's pretty much a really quick uh, way to just cut some time out. I mean, it, of course it takes the time uh, to, I still have to cut out all the parts from the runners and put them all into here but just it saves you the time of having to go back and forth from the runners again. So that's just a quick tip to maybe if you guys are interested in cutting down your building speed. I know for, for some people though, it, it probably you enjoy the fact that it takes a long time because you're spending money for a model and then you want to actually get your money's worth by uh, spending some ample time. If you're just spending $50 on a kit and then building it in over the course of three hours. The dollar to time ratio is gonna be a little bit different anyway, so it's just something to think about. I also don't do a whole lot of sanding in preparing for just doing a just straight out of the box review for you guys. Uh, I'll usually just cut with nippers and then just clean up the nubs just with a knife, maybe do a little bit of sanding if I need to clean up the nub a little bit more, uh, but I don't do a excessive amount of sanding to prepare for uh, building kits, so. Hope that answers the question for any of you guys who are wondering. I do also often get asked how long it takes to build any certain kit or something, and I wanna address that in a separate video, so I'll do that in maybe the next episode of FAQ. For the time being, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>